All right, so I'm here with Dave Davis. We're gonna talk about the new M2010. Now, Dave, I thought this was a brand new weapon system. Well, yes and no. Back when you were in camouflage, remember the old bolt action M24? M24, that it was. Well, long action with a short action round. Yep, long action, 308, but the long action because we hope someday we're gonna be able to upgrade to a 300 Win Mac. That day's here. Whoa. Took those M24s, shipped them back to Remington, took that long, that long action, turned it into a 300 Win Mag, Dropped it in the state-of-the-art chassis, threw on some new optics, and here we are. So that's why I recognize our 700 action. Didn't you say you actually recognize some of the serial numbers? I, I was the guy who was handling the property books back then. We shipped the guns back, and a uh, short time later they showed up, and I actually remembered some of the serial numbers from, uh, from, old, from old inventories. Dave, that photographic memory comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, it's, it's all in text. So why did we change chassis? I mean, it... Uh, it looks a lot prettier. Uh, does it bring well, anything? Well, you remember the all the, some of the shortcomings you had for the M24. You would you'd you'd make those cheek pieces. I'd have to build it under sponge and, and all that stuff. Well, yeah. look what we got here. Uh, micro adjustable. The length, awesome. pull, length elevation, pull. collapsible. Nice. Look very, at that. We could. Nice. Hey, how about a little modified 1950? It would jump make it a look. lot easier to jump. Here to tell you that for and sure. And then the, uh, look at my business end down here. How many times you wish you had a suppressor on a 24? Definitely. Now we got a we got. Mm. Suppress straight from the factory. Come on back, the modular system here. Throw, hey, how about some night vision? How about some night vision? We're ready, we're ready for nighttime operations. What about a little laser on the side to augment my night vision? Nice. There you go, all of my current laser systems, my light systems, as well as my current yep. night vision will, uh, well, there we go. Now we're ready for nighttime operations. Just that quick. Yeah. Your M24 had a fixed 10 power scope, correct? We did. Started out, later on we, we swapped out scopes. Of course that was at the addition of quite a bit of taxpayers' money. We went to that three and a half by 10 power for our night vision capabilities we had at the time, but now, how would you like to have six and a half by 20? First focal plane. First focal plane, very, very important, especially when you're trying to reach out the distances and you're adjusting like mill holes for winds, things like that. Variable power, you got to go first focal plane. Have to. Speaking of first focal plane and that that hold off reticle, going old school. Look at there, we still got dialing still capability. A, still, we got our BDC mm -hmm. information there and there. You have b both capabilities. So you can use the H58 reticle or use the BDC. Either or. Nice. I've actually had guys get their data off of here in their absence of any ballistic computing capability and take that information, write it down, and just turn it into a holding reticle mm. in the absence of anything else. 190 grain bullet, almost 3,000 feet per second. Now, why did Big Army finally go to 300 Win Mag? How much actual improvement in capability does the 300 Win Mag bring over the M118LR? Well, the M118LR is just basically an enhanced battle cartridge, R762. Mm -hmm. Never designed from the ground up to be a sniper round. The original one was a T65 designed for the M14. Mm -hmm. Battle rifle round, put a new chassis around it, called it a sniper system. Still shooting to the ballistic limitations of the 308. From this ground, we picked the hottest and the greatest thing out there at the time, that 190 gram bullet, almost 3,000 feet per second, versus 175 at 2,600. 2600. That doesn't sound like a lot, but downrange, the distance, the ballistics, and the wind capability is a lot better. Hit probability, well, let's talk about this. This gun goes to 1,000 meters. Our 24s were good for 800. Yep, they would be running out, just completely yep. running out of gas by then starting to go subsonic. Shot groups just completely opening up once you go trans. Standards on sniping have went up just because of this gun. We, we shoot them farther and um, much more accurate. Much more accurate. And worth noting that our ammo for this is supplied by the civilian sector under contract purchase buys opposed to being in-house produced by Lake City. Which probably makes it cheaper because it's not being done for the government. Ironically enough, we just talked about this earlier, it's not only cheaper, it's much more accurate. Hmm. Funny what happens when you let government get hold of your good equipment. All right, Dave, one of my biggest problems with the old M24 was I had to top load this thing one round at a time. Yo! Wow, awesome. How many rounds is it? How about have? a 300 win mag, five rounds capability, just as quick as you can load it. Rack that bolt. Nice, very, very nice. Swap magazines, very, very quick. Inserted, exact same as your M4. No, not making round, not making noise in your kit bouncing around. I don't have a loose pocket full of loose ammo getting all dusty. Great, great, great stuff here. All right, so old action maybe, but definitely breathe new life into this thing here. Uh, 
the U.S. Army sniper rifle dragged into the 21st century, the new M2010.